Mm, good morning and welcome back to the channel. Sorry, I've literally just woken up. I was... I'm not doing a fancy intro today because I kind of forgot, basically. I got up and I did my things. Weighed myself 75.1 kilos. Looking quite lean still though. I just checked myself. So got definitions through the legs, through the abs. So that's good. Uh, I am about to have my pills. So we have... Q Q10, D2, K2, ber citrus bergamot, and um, astralagus. It's quarter to five as well, by the way. And it's um, the date is. What is the date? The 19th? 15th. 15th of March. I'm going to make myself a coffee now. I'm going to do a little bit of work. And then I will show you my first meal, which I will have after I've walked the dogs. Uh, today we're going to do a full day of eating. It's a new high calorie day. I got more food last week. So I'll show you, I'll just take you through what I'm eating. So just watch the information only. You're not me, I'm not you. I am being coached uh, by an IFBB pro coach. I'm prepping to, I'm at the moment in off season, looking to build as much muscle as possible, eating a lot. Um, my supplement routine at the moment is that I am using juicy vitamins. And uh, yeah, today I'm training glutes, so I'll take you maybe through some of it, but I don't want to film too much of it because I just kind of can't bothered. So anyway, I need some coffee and I need to start doing some work. Somebody asked me to do some, show you some recipes and talk you through how I do that, so I'll do that too. I'll do that as well. I've come back from walking the dogs and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to heat up the food that I made yesterday. So here I have 100 grams of cream of rice with a scoop of whey protein. I will put that onto a lowish, a medium high heat. In the meantime, I will heat up some water as well because um, I just wanted to heat through, but it's, I need to add some more water because it will have got a little bit lumpy uh, from just being overnight. I have also already prepared my pre-workout, pre which is, I've already, I've also already prepared my post-workout, which is 100 grams of Cocoa Pops with 45 grams of protein powder so that's here I have in here also some vitamin C and berberine and I've also already made the JP nutrition pre-workout which is actually really quality is really nice quality so the, for the cream of rice I've got uh, a chocolate one a chocolate whey that I didn't get from my core supplements but I did get the JP nutrition triple whey cream of rice I will link those products down below if you want to have a 10% discount use Shikara 10 I really like the Carter Sport. I really like the JP Nutrition Cream of Rice as well as the Carter Sport Nutrition. I will try and order some more flavors, different brands, just to keep you guys updated on what's nice and what's not. But whilst that's all heating up, I'm just gonna sh sort out my bed, get changed, and then I'll eat this when it's ready. Now the reason I have been preparing this in the mornings is just to save myself some time because it takes like 10 minutes to get ready and it's just like 10 minutes I don't have to worry about then. So with my chocolate cream of rice, what I like to do is I like to put through the cinnamon, some liquid sweetener, and I also put through there just cocoa powder just to intensify the cocoa, the chocolate flavor, basically. And for the liquid sweetener, you have to kind of play that by ear, but how sweet you want it. For me, I do around like five to 10 grams, around five grams of cinnamon, and around five to 10 grams of cocoa powder too. Alright, so the battery on my mouse has died, which means that I need to go and buy a new one on the way back. I've decided I'm not going to film my training. I kind of just want to get off, to be honest, I just want to get on with my training. So, I'm not really in the mood to like lug a camera around and set it up and all of that. I just want to train. On the way back, I'll go pop into the shop quickly because I need to just get some herbs, decaf coffee and a battery. So, I'm going to get changed now. Warm my car up because that's going to take a couple of minutes and uh, head to the gym. That's a lie, I'm back already. For my intro workout, I'm gonna go with my favorite, Innova Farm. The Jolly Apple Ranchers. This is this is candy apple ranchers. These are amazing aminos. Again, I'll link it down below. Shikara 10 for 10% discount. Oh. 
that was actually really good training. I felt really strong. Set lots of PBs. I got a PB in for a Romanian deadlift with 120 kilos for six pretty solid reps. So I'm happy about that. But yeah, very good training. I did have a bit of a a wobble. I feel like I'm not growing enough. I feel like I'm like not making enough gains, basically. Considering how much I'm eating, and considering how more so because I'm staying so lean, I'm a bit like, am I making gains? Am I not? But I uh, texted Yasin and I'm like, oh, I don't feel like I'm getting big enough. And he's like, no, where are you? Don't worry, you're on the right path. So that's good. It's a weird thing, this bodybuilding. Oh, it's too watery. That's a shame, isn't it? I like it when it's a bit thicker, but whatever. I put the salted caramel uh, way through there from Perform. It's really nice. Really, really nice. The Perform way is actually really nice quality, so I highly recommend if you can get hold of it. Because it goes quite thick. I like that. So, post workout is 100 grams of Coco Pops. Only on leg days, so on the uh, upper body days, it's only 50 grams. I don't think I put enough weight in here. It doesn't stay, taste way enough. I'll go to the shop on the way home because I really need to get batteries. If I don't get batteries, I won't be able to do work. Do some work, and it's actually it's a, it's a very nice day today. So I don't know if Felica is going to be around later or not, but I would like to go for a walk. So even if she's not, I might just go for a walk on my own. I know I shouldn't do the additional cardio, but if it's a nice day, especially after the shit days we've had where it's been so cold, I kind of want to make the most of it, you know. I'm going to eat this, and um, I'll be back, I guess, with my next meal. So I went into Lidl. To get food shopping, got everything I needed except for the herbs. Completely forgot about it. I'll go to the shop that's around the corner for me later. I need to get home now, but I did buy myself an apple. I kind of fancied an apple. I haven't had one in a long time. And I saw it, and look how nice it looks. So I'm gonna have a cheeky little apple. Naughty. Mm. I'm gonna get home, eat, and walk the dogs. So for my post-workout, I have more cream of rice, which you will never hear me object to. I love cream of rice. So we have 70 grams cream of rice with a scoop of whey protein. And I also have 100 grams of pineapple, which I've already eaten. Now with the cream of rice, I was saying before, add boiling water. I have that perform way does not like to be boiled. It goes uh, kind of like, like uh, curdled egg whites. So what you want to do is you want to heat up your water, but not boil it. You want to have your stove hot, but not uh, get the, the mixture of the cream of rice to a boil. Because once it goes to a boil, the, the whey can start curdling and it gives it a bit of a weird taste and a bit of a weird consistency. So get it hot, but don't get it to boil. I don't, not all whey does it, because that chocolate whey that I have is from a different brand and that's fine to be heated, that's fine to be boiled. It's just that I've noticed with the performer, it doesn't like it. So to be on the safe side, don't use boiling water. And don't get your pot too hot that the mixture starts boiling. So I'm gonna have around three bowls like this from what I've made. So I put, I use the cinnamon donut whey, salted caramel cream of rice by Carter Sports Nutrition. I put through there some cinnamon, some sweetener, and a little bit of facilium husk. And the facilium husk make, gives it this sort of like more like a jellyish consistency, but it also helps bulk out the meal. So I don't use it in all of the. I don't use it in my breakfast pot or in my pre-workout pot. I only do it in my meal one. And that's it basically. So I'm going to eat this. It's half past 11. Once I finish this, I'll take the dogs for a walk. I think I'll take them for a bigger walk because the weather is nice. And I kind of just want to be out in the sunshine as much as possible. Because I think it's going to get cloudy later on today. But it's a nice day, so I want to just get out in the sun and spend some time in the sun. I'm gonna start edit finish it. I'm gonna finish editing a video that I started, and then yeah, I'll be back when I'm eating again. So the only thing is with my with my third bowl, I'm gonna stick in 15 grams of almond butter. But I always do that on my last bowl. I don't know why. It's like the, it makes it nicer, so I want to save that for last. You know. <laughs> Alrighty, I've just come back from a big walk with Daisy. It's about 22 now. 
So I'm gonna make my next meal, which is gonna be rice with beans and chicken. People are asking me to talk you through the recipes. So first of all, I always have everything cooked up. I usually cook up, as you can see, around two kilos at a time. I cook up around three cups of uh, rice, something like that. So I have enough rice and chicken to see me through for a few days. Beans, I just get the frozen ones, defrost them, and then I'll, I'll, I'll reheat them. But what I'll do with this particular meal is I'm gonna chop up an onion. I'm really enjoying having some red onion through my dishes just for a bit of flavor. And I've also got this pasta sauce, which is a, a basil one because I don't actually have basil, but this could be nice. Look at the ingredients and look at the calories. So this is per 100 grams, 43 calories, and the carbs are 3.4. The fat is 2.6. Now, I will have maybe three or four tablespoons, which is... Ah, I mean, you're looking at maybe like 50 grams, if even that. So the calories in this are negligible, pretty much. I mean, there is calories, but you're looking at, what, like 20, not 20 calories, if even that. So this is kind of like a passata, so it's quite very, it's very fresh tasting, tastes very good. I will also season that with some smoked paprika, some salt. I think that's it. Yeah. Maybe I'll put through there a little bit of chicken stock, just a touch, but I don't know yet, I might not, because I'm gonna put salt through there. I'll, I'll either use a chicken stock or I'll use the salt, but I think I'm gonna use the salt and not the chicken stock. So that's basically it. Just weigh out my ingredients into individually, and then heat them up. Uh, whilst I'm uh, heating the pan up, I'll cut my onion and weigh things out. Simple as that, really. If you're wondering why I ended up also having these rice chips, rice cake chips, it's because of the fact that basically I don't have enough rice for the rest of the day and I can't be bothered to cook any. So I always keep some rice cakes around and it kind of just breaks up the, the plain rice situation. The macros are pretty much the same. So what I do is I'm supposed to have 300 grams of white rice. Instead I'm having 200 grams and I'm having 30 grams of these rice chips and that makes it 80 grams of rice or carbohydrates in total, which is what I should be having. Um, I'm also having 38 grams of protein and around seven grams of fat. Now the fat normally will be lower, but these have uh, four grams of fat in them. So it normally is maybe like five grams of fat, but YOLO. Mm. These paprika ones are nice as well. I also stuck five olives through here too. So yeah, that's my um, first meal. This is nice actually. The paprika gives it like a nice, a nice little twist. It's smoky, it's a little spicy from this paprika because it's a spicy paprika. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this and keep doing some work. So this is my second meal, 560 calories for all of that. So the next chicken and rice meal is going to have some pineapple through there as well. I have 100 grams of pineapple, I'm going to have 120 grams of chicken breast. I'm going to go with 200 grams of the rice and then I'm going to have four rice cakes. Yeah, four rice cakes. For my next meal I'm going to have cream of rice and rice cakes instead of normal rice. But this one I'm going to go for like, a, like an Asian twist if you like. So I'm going to put through there a little bit of smoky sriracha. I'm also going to put through there some reduced sugar tomato ketchup. Uh, a little bit of fresh mint. A red onion. And the other half of the red onion that I've chopped up. I was wondering why else the brightness was turned up. Um, and salt and that's basically it. So not super exciting guys. So that's kind of what I do. Just try and, just try and make the meals as sort of flavoursome as possible. Again, the macros are pretty much going to be the same on this meal, except for it's going to be a little bit more because I've got the pineapple there. So it's going to be around 90 grams of carbs, I think, for this meal. So, but let's get making. All right, so, all right, so here is the, um, the finished product, if you like. Put a little bit too much sriracha through there, so it might be a bit spicy, but that's fine. Um, I've also got a Diet Coke, 
because I fancy Coke Zero. And uh, yeah, so what you want to make sure that you do is that if you have, hello, she's changing a coat, so there's hair everywhere. I actually just hoovered. I almost have to do it every day now because she's um, changing her coat. And I brush her out as well, and it's still not enough, so I'm just trying to fix. <laughs> Camera says, right, so there we go. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. If you use fresh herbs, add them in towards the end of your cooking, not from the beginning. Uh, your dried herbs you put in from the beginning, your fresh herbs towards the end. It goes a little bit like sweet and sour with the ketchup and the uh, pineapple and the sriracha. It's nice. I like this one a lot. It's um, four o'clock now. I'll probably eat again around seven, six, five thirty-six, and then probably around eight o'clock again. And that'll be it. So lots of meals. Some people are wondering like, if I get hungry between meals. I don't get hungry hungry, but I don't feel full up either. I feel like I could eat more, which is crazy because I eat basically 3,800 calories pretty much. And I could still eat more. And I'm surprised by how my weight's staying pretty much the same. I do go up after, high, high, after a high carb, high calorie day. My weight does go up by a kilo, normally speaking. The second I have a low calorie, low carb day, comes back down again to 74. So I don't know, it's a good thing, I guess. That was quite nice actually, and it wasn't as spicy at all. I say that, it feels a bit spicy now, I've stopped eating. Um, I am supposed to probably do some editing, but to be honest guys, I've been a little bit lazy the last couple of days, work-wise. I've still done work, but not as much as I normally do, no. For the simple reason that, uh, I'm in between Phoenix Risings. So, I don't have to do a lot of check-ins, which gives me back a lot of time. Obviously, and I'm just kind of enjoying it. I was thinking about doing other projects and doing pre-filming and editing and I'm like, you know what, actually, I'm just gonna enjoy a couple of weeks of a bit, a bit of downtime because it's been a lot otherwise. I think I need to take the girls out, actually. Do you need to go for pee-pee again? Excuse me. Go on, that's fine. Oh. Thank you, Daisy. Thank you. Is it normal for a dog to sit like this? Are you normal? Are you normal or are you a little bit special? Are you a little bit special? Huh? Funny. <laughs> anyway, uh, I need to take them for a walk again actually because it is four o'clock so I'll take them for a quick walk around the block. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna chill out. It is time to eat again. I am gonna do the chicken with the rice cakes and the spinach. This time around, it's again gonna have some onion through there. But this time, I'm gonna put through there the lowest calorie barbecue sauce that I could find, which happened to be this hot chili. This one. And I'm gonna also put through just a little bit of teriyaki, which is quite nice. So I won't use salt. Uh, 150 grams of chicken, five rice cakes, and spinach. And let me just heat up that spinach now, because it's frozen. And then I'll eat the rice cakes, and then after that, I'll make my cream of rice. Time for dessert, which will be birthday cake, cream of rice. And for dessert, I'm gonna have two bowls of cream of rice, literally 70 grams of cream of rice. This is nothing else in there except for water. Oh, and I put through there some vanilla, no, some white chocolate flavored syrup, like flavor drops that have no calories. Let's try some out. It literally tastes like cake with white chocolate. So this birthday cake cream of rice, by far the best one I've ever tried. Then after this, I have one more meal left, which is gonna be potatoes and salmon.
you guys, I'm not hungry and I need to eat still. So, well, I just feel really tired. I just want to get to bed, man. Oh, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to... Don't be naughty. I think I'm going to make myself... So I'm just looking for you. I always look really tired when I'm looking for you. I can see a lot of bags on my eyes here. Um, I might make myself a cup of tea. And I've got some cottage cheese. So I'm going to have basically some cottage cheese with some uh, sugar-free flavour drops through there. And like uh, a little bit of almond... Almond... Uh, what's it called? Almond butter. I'm not going to show you. It's like cottage cheese and almond butter, basically. It'll be 150 grams of potis and I'll do 15 grams of almond butter. So, oh, I don't even want to eat that. I just want to go to bed. <sighs> it's not that late either, but obviously I wake up early. And you know, you know how I've been having like, my sleep's been better. And you know why my sleep's been better? Hmm. Because I've just been going to bed early. Who am I? Who, why am I getting, I was thinking about this the other day, I'm like, why am I stressing out about not being able to sleep for long? Or till late, till like 5, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. Who am I staying in bed for? Nobody. I literally don't have to stay in bed for anybody. So what difference does it make if I wake up at 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock and get my day started? It makes no difference. It's unusual, but... Everything else that I do in life is unusual. So <laughs> what difference does it make if my sleeping hours are unusual? So on that note, I am going to eat some cottage cheese, have a shower and go to bed. And maybe fall asleep at around 8 o'clock, which is just fine by me. These two are playing, clearly. Best of buddies. What's she doing, yeah? What's she doing? Oh. No, Daisy. Anyway, what emoji shall we do? I don't know, anything rice, I guess. It's the way forward, isn't it? Anything that's like a rice emoji. And uh, yeah. Oh. I hope some of my cooking tips and tricks have been helpful. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye.